This is Jeremiah Johnson. It is this month's patron pick that we are in March. March. I forget because I don't really know a month unless it's my birthday or Christmas or a kid's birthday. And then I don't know what month we're in. So the patron that picked this movie was Greg Kipp. And he said, and this is all I know, that it's based on a real life person called Liver Eating Johnson. I don't know if I ever told you, but what about four? Oh, my seat is really creaky. By the way, my chair is really, really creaky. So if you hear funny noises, it's not coming out my butt. It's coming out my... Well, it's where my butt is, but it's my chair. Anyway, back to the story. I don't know if I ever told you, but about four years ago, I was doing that carnivore diet where you eat nothing but animal and what comes from animal. So I ate a lot of liver and it was just a little phase. It was only like two weeks and it ended. It ended because I put something in the oven and I burnt it. And then instead of like being like, oh, well, I'll just make some more, I was like, to hell with it, I'm having a Chinese. And I had I ordered Chinese food and that was it. That was the end of that. But anyway, more to the liver side. <laughs> I ate so much liver that it was like seeping through my pores and I could smell it in my hair and on my skin. My house smelled like liver. Um, and it wasn't just liver, it was all other organs too. I ate pretty much, no, I think I did. I ate everything. If you can think of an organ that comes from an animal, I ate it. If you want to be in with a chance of picking next month or the month after the month after, blah, 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 then you need to be in with, then you need to be in with a chance. <laughs> you need to be on Patreon and you need to be in one of the top tiers and then I add your name and then a random generator picks it and then voila. But Greg Kipp is the patron pick this month and he picked Jeremiah Johnson. I don't even know if I said the title, now I'm saying the title is Jeremiah Johnson. And I'm very, very excited to see this because I went to see a man eating liver. I even tried it raw just one time. I wouldn't do that again. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, please subscribe. Do everything you can to make the channel grow and I will love you forever. And we are ready to play, I think. Oh no, our shout outs. We need to do our big fat shout outs to our top tier patrons who are Would You Kindly, Sylvia, Nathan Wolf, Robert McGregor, Admantis, Rude Alf McGleska, Brian Medendorp, Calco Jack, Len Anaquad, Wayne Kreika, Robert and Min Celeste McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Marsh, Alonso Torres, Bill Bryant, Thousandth Ghost, Roger Freeman and Eric Bottom, and Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> we'll add him to it because he's he's a he's a um he's an honorary honorary <laughs> honorary patron. <laughs> okay, let's just play. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this guy's name. Jeremiah Johnson and play. This is going to be a movie full of adventures and I'm excited for it. He's going to shoot some animals with his shotgun and then eat their liver. Oh my god, it's maybe not even animal liver, it's maybe human liver. This is a bonny song, I like it. I think, I think it's telling us that this story is going to be, it's going to start off nice and calm. And then there's going to be a, a, lots of adventures. And then towards the end, the adventures are going to be very dramatic, possibly traumatic. And then a hero comes and saves the day. And then... Oh God, this does look like cannibals. That's human skin on the boat. No, there's too there's too many humans to be eating each other. They're all being too too nice. <laughs> They're too civil. He was looking for a hawking gun, fifty caliber or better. He settled for a thirty, but I don't know what caliber means in a gun. Ride due west to the sunset. Turn left at the Rocky Mountains. Aww. Jeremiah Johnson made oh, he's got his own song. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way these guys are cannibals. They're all living very peacefully, being nice to one another. That's why I like to see. Ugh, <laughs> you need an arrow. Something that's not going to make a noise. Why does he want to go and live in the mountains? Did it say in the song? Oh, that water's going to be freezing. Maybe she'd have done some kind of training first so that you knew how to hunt and fish. 
Wait. Oh, you let it go. Oh, wow. Look at you. I don't think you need to be afraid of him. He's going to teach you. He's going to teach you his ways. I think he threw himself in at the deep end too quick. He maybe should have like started at the bottom of the mountain, did a little bit of training, got used to it and then worked, worked his way up like every week, went a little bit higher. Oh! Oh, I feel bad, but it was a little bit funny. <laughs> Does anyone ever watch that YouTube channel? That out is it the Outdoor Boys? The Outdoor Boys. You learn a lot from them. Well, him. It's mainly the dad. <gasps> Wait, that. Oh God, I thought that was you for a second. <laughs> I thought you died. Oh, thank God it wasn't you. I am dead. Yours truly, Hatchet Jack. Hatchet Jack. That's the best name I've ever heard in my whole life. Hatchet Jack. 50 caliber Hawken. Oh my god, he got his 50. So he's got a 50 and a 30 now. Good for you. Does that mean it shoots faster or is more powerful? Oh, I thought that was an elephant behind him. Why does his horse look so big? <laughs> Wait, is that your horse? That's a cow. Where did the cow come from? Oh, it is a horse. Oh God, I feel so awful for the horse. You should have been more prepared. What is it that the, the outdoor boys use? Elk, elk skin. You should have had some elk skin for your horse. That's a donkey. I thought the donkey was an elephant. The same dumb pilgrim I've been hearing for 20 days and smelling for three. <laughs> How come you ain't been scalped? He's got a necklace of teeth. Grizzly bears, pilgrim. I collect the claws. Oh my god, it's claws. Wow. Uh. You must be starving. <laughs> Shit, he's gonna get him. But it's. Oh, that's a shame. That was a shame. I feel bad. I'm all for eating animals, but the... that was just sad. Some animals, no. Whatever you learn down the flat will serve you no good up here. You got some work to do. And he's going to teach you. Oh, he's going to teach you and then he's going to die because he's old and then you're going to take over his house and hunt in the grizzly bears. One wrist through a loop in the horse's mane shooting arrows and guns from under the horse's neck. Wow. I'd like to see that. I wonder why he chose this life if he, if he, like usually you'd only want to do that if you were brought up living like that and you already knew how to live like that. Track well, Pilgrim. Kind of like it, don't you? Maybe. This has got potential to be the best movie ever. Walk out on this side of your horse. What if he sees our oh. feet? Elk don't know how many feet a horse have. <laughs> oh, that's so clever. And pull, slide her up over the saddle. Can he not hear you talking? Then you'll scare your horse. <laughs> How did you? Oh yeah, there you go. Kill him clean. Ah. Oh, your horse is off though. Oh, what did he actually? Did he get you? Did he kick you? He's got concussion. That's his sign. Just stand still. Shit. Oh, there's lots. But you saw one of them not long ago, and he was okay. He just left you. What do you see, hubby? Says you fish poorly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you understand that language? Ain't your shirt speaks English. He just does this to aggravate me. <laughs> You've known each other for a while, then. Rasta Hawata. Your Christian name. Jeremiah. Aho. 
And they're all going to live happily ever after. So is this the crow's land then? And you're on their land and that's why they can come and find you and get whatever they want. Aww. What an awesome friendship. Blossoming. Oh my god. What happened? What, what happened and why are you the only one left? Woman, I am your friend. We have graves to dig. Was a beer? Full of beautiful river. Oh, I feel so sad. Was that her kids? Or did she just find everyone? No, because she was talking to them like they were her kids. Oh. Did you see all this? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> we'll give her a boozy. Here's food. She won't eat. If it wasn't, if, if that other boy hadn't survived too, she wouldn't want to live anymore. So she would just starve herself. The Indians will not bother you now on account of you are touched. They will be mm -hmm. afraid. What happened? What what does it mean she was touched? Touched by who? Why is why were the Indians be afraid of her? I'm so confused. Take him! Ma'am, I wouldn't know how to tend after it. <laughs> Bloody take him. <laughs> if a woman gives you a look like that, you do as you're told. Oh, if there's buzzards, it means there's something dead on the other side. Damn! Oh, was someone's head? What happened to him? Who did that to you? Are you all right? Sure, sure. I got a fine horse under me. <laughs> Just imagine the horse under there. That's just riding a horse. Passed by recent, have you? But he's gone in front of me. <clears throat> Can't say what's happened behind me, though. <laughs> Says this scalp ain't fit. Ain't the first time I've protected my head in such a way. Oh, really? So they don't like it if you haven't got hair? Sure, will be happy to see my horse again. I hate walking. Same, same. <laughs> Walking's boring. Oh, well, that hatchet Jack was a wild one. He was living with a female panther. Two years in a cave up in the mussel shell. What, a, a real life panther? Are you joking? A real life panther? <laughs> Or is that, like, are you talking about a lady? Took my rifle, horse, stole my belts. Not to mention what they'd done to that boy's folks. That was them. I thought it was a bear. Wait, I thought they were good guys. Are you people all on their land and that's why they're doing this? Oh, I can't believe that was them. Right. Oh, bless. He doesn't want you to go. No. Stay here with the animals. I didn't realise it was them. I thought the crows were good guys. Bugger. Are they called crows? Maybe I'm getting this all wrong. I can't see who shot who. What? What the hell happened? You skinheaded son of a bitch, you almost got me killed! Skinheaded son of a bitch. <laughs> what do you do with them scalps? Sell them to the English. Scalping. London is wallpapered with Indian scalps. What? What are you up to? What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna make him look just as bad as you. <laughs> Wait, how did you? I didn't know there was gonna be flatheads. Why, why are they called flatheads? This has all went a bit tits up and I'm not sure who started it because I don't, I don't exactly know what's happened. You brought us here to honour you and you wouldn't give him a gift. He cannot give you a better one. It'll be an insult. Oh, he's going to give you a woman. The danger is over, Jeremiah. He has thought of a better gift to give you. His daughter. Huh? I knew it. Oh, I don't want uh, He says you'll be very happy. <laughs> But what if she's minging? He's not going to want her if she's a rotter. And his rules is his rules. If you value your hair, you will get married. I bet she's going to be stunning. Why does he think that a couple scalps and a couple horses are the same as a, your daughter, your own daughter? You say she's called the swan, but she'll answer anything you want. 
They'll slit you, me, Caleb, and the horses from crotch to eyeball with a dull deer antler. Holy crap, really? I didn't realise how important it was to accept a gift or to accept help or anything offered to you. Like, even like a compliment, accept it because it's so important to the other person. Are you married now? Congratulations, two tongues. Wonderful wedding. Yes. That's the wedding over. <laughs> I wouldn't want to disturb your wedding night. Oh, yeah, bugger. You need to have sex with her now. I bet it's all going to work out fine, though. He's going to fall in love with her. And then they've got their son already. And they'll have other babies, too. Oh... He wanted to live in the mountains to be on his own, and this is the total opposite has happened. <laughs> you need to stop being a hero. <laughs> what is it? What did you make? <laughs> Enough to make you fall in love? Oh, it's not good. <laughs> She not cook. <laughs> well, this is fun. <laughs> Poor Jeremiah. I haven't seen him eat any liver yet. Oh, I think she's getting ready for you because she knows what's going to happen. Just be gentle with her and show her some affection and she'll realise that you're not a monster. Bet she's got a smile on her face today. Did she just kill one with a rock? It's a rabbit. Yeah, you need to get all the fluff off at first. It's not a very good hunter. <laughs> oh, that's the meme that I've seen hundreds of times. I thought that was, he looks very similar to the guy, that Zach guy. I don't know his last name, because that's who I thought it was. River in front, quest behind, this would be a good place to live. No, you need to take them to your buddy in the mountains, in the snow. Where's he at? Oh, he's got a mini axe. That's cute. Aww. Is he talking yet? Is that him feeling like a dad? Go fetch some proper food. Keep your nose open. There may be Indians about. <laughs> Wait, will they leave him alone now because he's got an Indian wife or no? I can't believe how much he looks like that Zach guy now. It's the beard and the hair, and he looks kind of chunky. No, you stay here. Is he really still not said anything? Is he? Can he not talk like he's never been able to talk, or is it just since that what happened? Ooh, ooh! He looks apart now. It will keep me warm in a strong wind. Give her a kiss. <laughs> Oh, she's glowing. She looks so happy. Bless you. Look at you. It's like a little happy family. Oh, nothing better happen to them while you're gone. This is this is maybe going too well. Bugger. Something's going to happen. Uh -oh. What the hell do you do about wolves? Oh. Your, your friend from the start, he's going to come and save you. Perhaps. The horses are going nuts. Jesus. That was a bit insane. I think the horse killed at least three of them. Well done, you. What's happened to your face? Huh? My beard. You gave it a beardy. <laughs> Beardy's amazing at the time, but then you have Beardy Rash. Well, hell, don't run off. It's me. Oh, it's his beard. He shaved his beard. What the? <laughs> I didn't realize what he did. 
How did you do that? Oh, that's so thoughtful of him. But actually, it might make it worse because when it's like short and stubbly, it's even worse than when it's long and soft. But me! Did you actually just knock on oh. <laughs> oh my god, they're like such a proper little family. It's so cute to see. I love it. You're on good terms with it, bro. I'll we'll give you that idea. People talk about it down below. What? Everyone's talking about you. Wow. Down in the snow and ice. I've got to get them out of there before they freeze. Why is his side all blurry behind him, but his side's clear? We were told that you would know how to get there. Through those passes. Oh, that's high. We were hoping that maybe... You could go with them. Do you mean to tell me that you intend to let those people die? Well, they're not going to die just because he doesn't go with you. Those people are down there waiting for us. Now they are freezing and hungry and scared. Yeah, but if you go through, then you'll all die. This is big medicine. They guard this place with spirits. And they'll know. They'll be watching you. Thanks all the same, Johnson, but we're riding through. <laughs> Sergeant! Don't go with them, then. You turn around and go back. Tell your men to keep behind me in single file. Single file, slowly. They're still going to see. They're going to come for you. You know better than that. I quite like a movie with an intermission, you know. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the theatre. I would be pooping my pants. None of you are in single file. What do you not understand? <coughs> There's something wrong with all these people. They're all coughing. I think, is that pneumonia? That's in your lungs, is it? Pneumonia. I think he died laughing. You're going through it twice. I did that once when I was driving and I went through a place that I wasn't supposed to go through and it, the camera picked me up and took a picture. So I got a fine for driving through it and then I turned around and drove through it again. <laughs> so I got fined twice. <laughs> Oops. I get the feeling that you're going to get more than a fine. Okay. Run as fast as you can. Don't go back to your house though, because they're going to come after you. Or they've already been at your house, which is what I said they would do. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, poopsicles. I wonder if all the soldiers are gone too then, because they, they went through it as well. He wanted to be alone and then he realised that he didn't, that he wanted the family and now he's alone again and he's sad because it's not what he wants. He wanted to feel the love. At least you can grow your beard back. Wait, is it, how long's passed? I thought, I thought this was like years had passed <laughs> but the arrow's still there. Has this just been, a, like, a couple minutes? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought this was, like, well into the future and he was still grieving, like, years later. Oh, Oh, well, yeah, you wouldn't want to live there without them. This is so sad. What do you think he's a way to do? Because if it was me, would I... I don't know, it depends what he's thinking right now. Is he thinking, uh, I don't want to be alive without my family? Or is he thinking, they did him a favour? <laughs> oh no, that's horrible. Don't say that, that's a horrible thing to say. That is not the case. It's a way to go avenge his son and wife, but possibly die in the process. And then he'll be okay with that because he'll see them in heaven. Oh, they've got white faces. Wow, he's not messing about. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> um, ow! He means business. Oh, you'll catch up with him. He's a bit of a chunky one. What a beautiful singing voice you've got. I don't know what that means. Has he just called on all the rest of them or is he like waving a white flag? 
Is he away to die? Oh, that would be... Do you not think that would be, like, one of the best ways to die is just to curl up in a ball and close your eyes and just, like, fall asleep? Because I bet he's not even in that much pain. I feel so sad, but I, it's a weird feeling. It's like I, I'm loving the movie so much that I'm, it's a good sad. Oh, this is the one that you saw at the very beginning when you was trying to fish, remember? And he stopped and stared at you. Is this the same man? And he'll say something like, now you know how to fish. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I didn't know that was the way it happened. Whoa, he went flying. <laughs> what happened to your face? Did you, ki did you kill him? Wait, what just happened there? Did you actually kill him? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> he was hiding inside the snow. <laughs> I have a feeling they're just going to keep coming. Jeremiah Johnson, I'm half horse, half dinner, and I'll touch the earth. Who the hell's this? I can out jump out run throw down drag out and is, it, is it the bald guy but he has hair now where are you headed same place you are jeremiah hell in the end oh. right you two go find the guy from the start and the three years can live together <coughs> where did that come from <coughs> bloody hell they just keep coming Did you hear the scream you let out? <laughs> ah! Maybe you'd best go down to a town, get out of these mountains. Nah, he's not afraid. I've been to a town, no. It's worse at the town. <laughs> he doesn't like the gossip and the clickiness. Which way are you headed, Jeremiah? Canada, maybe. I hear there's land there a man has never seen. Oh, really? Never seen? Imagine being the one that discovered land that nobody else had been on. I think he's going to live long and well, but he's going to be lonely. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. That's right in the stomach. There's no going back if it's in the stomach. Where did it get you? You still alive? It's like a cat. Where's the crazy woman? She's gone. Oh, that's the house that the boy came from. The crazy woman. Oh, Are we seeing the house from a different angle or something? I didn't recognise that at all. Are you all hiding from when him? The Indians are coming. Oh. Some say you're dead. Count of this. Others say you never will be. I think they never will be. I don't think he can die. Oh, is it your friend from the start? What's on the spit? <laughs> it looks like a rabbit. Were it worth the trouble? What trouble? It's just a breeze to him. You cook good rabbit, pilgrim. It is rabbit. I can't believe you're sitting chewing on its head. Yuck. Would you happen to know what month of the year it is? No, because I never do. <laughs> Unless it's my birthday or Christmas or someone else's birthday. What is a long time going, huh? Days long, this high. I want, to I want to cry, but like happy tears. You have done well to keep so much hair when so many's after it. <laughs> you will fare well. Why don't you stick together? That's what I want to see. Come on. You hunt grizzly bears together. Sunshine or thunder. He's singing this song, so I recognise the voice. Does that mean peace? It either means peace or he's signalling someone behind you to shoot you in the back. And some folks say he's up there still. <laughs> That's amazing. All the troubles that he knew. That guy's name was Bearclaw. Was his name Bearclaw? I didn't realize that. 
Aww. Oh, that's nice of them. Jeremiah Johnson living at peace in the mountains with the Indians, even though he killed half of them. Oh, that's, 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 that's just, it's just. Well, guess what? Guess what that is? It is a definite, absolutely definite best movie ever. We are watching so many banging movies just now. I'm loving it. This every patron pick. It's every patron pick. They are just glorious. Glorious. So first of all, let's thank Greg Kip for picking this movie. It was... I... <sighs> Isn't it mad that at the very beginning I was like, that this is definitely going to be a, a movie about cannibalism because of the liver eating thing. And that's instantly what my head went to. And then the first scene when we seen the guys on the boat, I was like, oh, I've seen The Walking Dead before. I know what cannibals look like. And the way that they were like, crouched around because they were sitting on the edge of the boat and then there was people in the middle and I was like this is definitely what it's going to be because just the, the way that they were and then it instantly switched as soon as the boat like came into land and then came into land came into dock <laughs> I don't know what it's called <laughs> and then instantly it was just everything changed the, the, the picture changed the scenery changed the the music Everything was so heartwarming. It it was like my soul just instantly felt um, happy and like lifted. My soul felt light, and I, and then I was happy that it wasn't going to be. Not that I don't like a movie about cannibals, because I really, really did like Silence of the Lambs, but I wasn't feeling that today. Do you know what I was feeling today? This movie. It was the absolute perfect movie to watch on, uh, what the hell day is this today? I don't even know what day we're on. I don't know what day, I don't know what month, I never know what we're doing, but it's morning, just. It's, <laughs> this morning is the perfect movie Th like thank you thank you for giving me the perfect movie to watch today i'm so so freaking happy who was that singing because i there's a song that i listened to and it reminds me of that song it's the song i can't remember i'm gonna have to put it in the description when i upload this video and then and then you can tell me like what you think of it. it's the same same voice it's very very similar voice anyway how cool were the names like even Je jeremiah johnson that's a cool name anyway and then we had hatchet jack well that was just freaking awesome and if that guy i didn't realize that guy's name was bear claw but it came up at the end that's like best name ever and bear claw is, is awesome i just kept calling him the snowman i'm so glad that we saw him at the end again because i really like the whole way through i think i said snowman too many times because I really, really wanted to see him again. And I understand why they never like joined forces and lived together because the whole reason that he wanted to live in the mountains was because he wanted to be on his own, which was, you know, and then he had his little family and then his little family died and then he got what he wanted. So I think it was kind of a very sad moment, but at the same time, probably a weight lifted off his shoulders because he was, finally alone again and that's what he always wanted. I think when he had his family he was a bit like oh, well I've, I've got it now I can't do much about it so let's just make the best of it and and then he was happy and he was in love and he had his little son and he was giving her beardies and it was just all so freaking cute. Do you know what I wonder when I watch movies like this is like so we saw when he was like hunting and fishing and the traps that he had and the house that he built and things, all the tools that he has, did, did they make them? Or can, or can you buy them all from somewhere? And Or like, do you, do you find them? Do you take them from like dead bodies and stuff? Like how do you gather all these tools? And then obviously like when you have to flee from like your house, say your house gets burned down or there's like people after you and you have to like run away and you, all you have is whatever's on you and your horse possibly. So you don't get to take all that stuff with you. So you have to start again and again and again. Where do you find all the tools or do you just make them? And like, how long does the process take? <laughs> It's something I'd really like to know. And then who, who teaches them how to build the houses and stuff? This is something that I've always spoke about. So like back, back in ye olde days when, when your parents would teach you 
So your your mom, the mom would teach the girls how to cook and clean and look after the men, and and then the men would teach the boys how to hunt and build and um, shoot and and possibly like if you went into say like an officey type job so like you you ended up being an accountant or you ended up being like a banker or something like that then it would be someone in the family that would teach you how to do that side of things or it would be some like a family friend that would teach you and but now like everyone all kids just go to school and learn all the same things and they don't get to this decide what what they want to be does that make sense? Like the, when when you're young, you kind of know when you're young what you're if you're going to be what side of it you're going to be, and then there's always someone that can teach you that side. And from a very very young age, that's when you start learning. But now everyone just learns maths and English and whatever it is that you learn in school, and it doesn't matter what you are really good at and what you what you think you're going to manage to do when you're older like that doesn't matter not in today's schools because you just have to sit and be quiet and learn math <laughs> and everyone has to do the exact same especially the boys it's a shame for the boys because boys are wired to like run about and be wild and they have to just sit in their ass and be quiet okay i'm 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 getting too out of control with this because that's that's not what this is about <laughs> Um, what was I on? Oh, it was who, t who teaches them how to build the houses and stuff. So yeah, I'm guessing that the men would learn that from like their dads and their uncles and their big brothers and stuff. And then like if they go off on their own and have their own family and things, then they already know how to build a house. They already know how to chop down a tree. They already know how to... Well, he didn't really know how to hunt or fish. He I think he just kind of picked that up, which was also something that I picked up along in the movie that every single person that he met taught him something different um so he was learning like bits from everyone and he he kind of already knew how to fight did he i wonder who taught him how to fight and that was the other thing that i picked up on the little fight scenes that we had there wasn't many but there was and no there wasn't many but there was fight scenes <laughs> that felt like i said there wasn't many but there was many there was fight scenes that were a realistic more realistic than what i'm used to and b they were but they were powerful they were exactly what you needed to see without dragging it on and making it like this massive thing and, and it being the same thing that you're watching for like a whole 10 minutes so i really enjoyed that i really liked that the, the fight scenes were quick it looked like he knew exactly what he was doing he was still getting hurt in the process like, I'm sick of seeing a fight scene where he's, he's, like, he's not getting hit, not even once. He got hit a lot, a lot, a lot. And he was, you could see he was in pain and he was struggling sometimes. But he just, like, was like, I'm, I'm Jeremiah Johnson. I'm going to pick myself up and I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to kill anyone that gets in my way. I really, really love a movie with horses because I really enjoy a horse. And I, lo I love to look at them from a distance because I'm highly, highly, highly allergic. And if I go near a horse, like my throat just closes up and that's it, I'm gone. And I could die. So I have to, st I have to from a distance admire them. So it's very nice to see them in movies in all their different colors and their, their mane. Is it a mane? A horse's mane? Whatever their hair is called and their tails. And I just think they look so majestic and they're just, they're, even their ass like their butt you know the shape of their butt this is so weird me saying that but a horse's butt does that make sense to you or is that just me being weird about a horse's butt like it's just, they're so they're so bonny <laughs> moving on i was very very emotional i was happy i was sad i was happy sad i was angry i was um i felt comfortable i felt very um at ease watching this movie it was it, i wasn't um my heart feels calm and happy and i and i really really like it i i feel like it was a really easy watch but it still it's it sucked me in i, could, I had to watch the whole movie without 
being distracted and, and yeah, it, it caught my attention the whole way through. What I don't understand is what did that family do to the that tribe, the Crows tribe? What did they do to deserve what happened to them? Because I thought it was a bear attacked them, but it turns out not. So why did they kill everyone apart from the mom and the boy? I don't think it says that. Or did they just, is that what, just what they did? Is it because they were living on their land? Because I understood that part, that maybe it's because they went to the family and needed something in return for them living on their land and they had nothing. So that's what they did. They took them. I guess that's maybe what happened. And then the, the, so there was the crows and the flatheads. And I don't understand why they were called flatheads because they didn't have flatheads. <laughs> I'm probably being so naive here, but they were the good. They were nice because that's who who he got his wife from. Although that was a very strange thing to do, because yeah, that's the. But then they have their beliefs and things, so you can't argue with that. <laughs> Something I've always thought that I wanted to do, and I probably do, I'll probably do it at some point, and then be like, to hell with this. I'm going back to like civilization and. Um, convenience and McDonald's <laughs> but I really want to at some point in my life have lots of land and have like a cabin and have a vegetable patch and have chickens and eggs and cows and animals and just live off the land and I feel like I often really 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 want to do it but then at times um, I, I like to have a supermarket just around the corner so I don't know how well I would do or if I would just get used to it and then I would be fine or I would live like that for a day and then I'd be like someone else has to take this over because I can't, I can't do it anymore <laughs> but we will see because I will do it and then and then I will update you <laughs> I will let you know how it goes <laughs> I definitely don't want to do it in snow because I, I don't, I like snow for like two days of the year, Christmas and then the day after Christmas <laughs> and then the snow can just go because I don't like it any other time. I like, I like sun and the sun can stay. So anywhere in the world that has snow for two days of the year and like I mean a lot of snow, I want snow to, to go sledging, to build snowmen, to, to um, do snow angels, to do everything that you can do in the snow in that two days and then the rest of the year the sun has to be beaten down no wind i don't like wind <laughs> unless it's a warm wind then that's fine <laughs> um and then it can rain sometimes but i do like the rain as as long as there's no wind with the rain anyway i feel like i've just told you my life story so i'm gonna go now and then uh yeah best movie ever jeremiah johnson so happy i watched it best movie ever today um it's made me in such a good mood and i love it so much and i'm so so happy and that is it i uh, thank you so much for watching oh wait if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you're planning on saying you haven't already please subscribe and do everything you can to make the channel grow and i will love you forever and then now i am going to go oh big stretch thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye Mwah.